For as long as I can remember, I've been in love with chipmunks. Never having a pet as a child, I always looked forward to the summers I got to spend feeding Chippy. Chippy never died, and somehow, he always would show up every single summer and was hungry for more food. As the years progressed and I grew older, I came to be more familiar with the chipmunks. I began to tame them, and eventually, they would let me pet them. But I was not the first one in my family to befriend the chipmunks. For over 120 years, my family has been coming to the Lake Metfermagog region. This area is part of the Great Lakes and St. Lawrence Forest, which stretches from eastern Manitoba all the way up to the Gaspé Peninsula on the Atlantic Ocean. It is here where my great-great-grandfather was the first to befriend the chipmunks. Since then, generation after generation has continued to feed them and tame these wild creatures. This is Marva. Marva is an older chipmunk, around two to three years in age. She is the dominant chipmunk in this area, and I know this is Marva based on her big red rump. This is Gomez. Gomez is the youngest chipmunk out of the five I have seen this year. He is learning how to fully master his hand-eye coordination, but he is by far the tamest chipmunk I have ever seen. Although most may think that chipmunks are herbivores, they are actually omnivores that eat a variety of seeds, berries, and in some cases, small bugs. I usually feed them sunflower seeds or peanuts, but if I'm not careful, they will happily indulge on my sandwich. Marva lives quite far away from my cottage and has to be careful navigating across an open yard that's home to a dog but for her, it's well worth the risk. Gomez, on the other hand, lives quite close and therefore is easily able to make double the trips compared to any other chipmunk. When food is left out, chipmunks will always flock to our deck in hopes of fattening up their winter hibernation food supply. But when there is more than one chipmunk that arrives at the same time, things can get ugly. When food is not left out, the chipmunks have learned to worship the container that holds endless amounts of food. Over the years, they have mastered getting that food, even when no one wants them to. I would say that chipmunks live a pretty laid-back life, having all the food they could possibly need. But one thing I cannot help them with is hiding from their enemy, the red squirrel. I, as a friend of the chipmunks, hate red squirrels. Their loud squealing sounds and aggressiveness towards chipmunks leave no space for them in my life. But like the chipmunks, the red squirrels have learned of the vast quantities of food us humans can offer. Yet the only thing stopping them are the chipmunks. Sometimes, the red squirrel will even resort to a chipmunk as their next meal. But for the most part, chipmunks have nothing to worry about. As for now, my human-chipmunk relationship has proven to be mutually beneficial as the chipmunks get their food and I continue to appreciate the wonder of nature.